GNCC is back on MAV TV. Ben Kelly entered the summer break with a win and the points lead. Can he keep that momentum going? Or will Stu Baylor return to his winning ways? Just four rounds remain as these two contenders continue their battle for the 2021 GNCC Championship. Are you ready to go GNCC Racing? And welcome to the 10th round of the 2021 GNCC racing season presented by Specialized and AMA National Championship. We're here for the Rocky Mountain ATV MC Mountaineer GNCC at the Summit Bechtel Branch in Beckley, West Virginia. I'm Mikey Waynes and I'm going to take you through today's racing action. Of course, we start out with the Specialized Race Recap. Stu Baylor going down taking a little blacktop sample. Not what we like to see out of a guy that is a contender for the championship, but as the race wore on, Baylor would rebound, as you'll see. Ashburn with the early lead, uh, and Josh String in second with Ben Kelly sitting in that number three spot, and a good start for Grant Baylor back in the number four position. And as you see, Stu Baylor found himself out front with Jordan Ashburn trailing in second place just behind him in the uh, report, the uh, Magna One Motorsports Husqvarna. And right here, chaos. Opportunity for Stu Baylor to make a pass, unable to get around Ben Kelly. Both riders struggling right here on those rocks of Snowshoe Mountain. If you've ever been to Snowshoe, you get it. If you've never been, I'm telling you, put it on the bucket list. You need to be there. This one is gnarly. Jordan Ashburn making a nice move right there to try and catch up with those guys. Boys, with race war on, we got into that third hour. Ben Kelly took control. The number 530 KTM coming through for the win, his second on the season. And he carries that points lead into the summer break. And you take a look there at the top 10. Of course, Stu Baylor able to hang on for that number two position. Ashburn in third, Toth in fourth. Grant Baylor rounding out the top five. Had a chance to catch up with Kelly after the race. I just go out there and give it the best every time. And, uh, you know, <laughs> since I had the points lead for so long and, you know, even if I didn't win, like I still had the points lead. So it was a weird like feeling like just mentally it was stressful. And it was like, I didn't have to win to have the points lead. So it's like, I don't know. It's like just that last little couple percent just wasn't there to, to get the win. And, uh, you know, I had to get the win here to keep the points lead. So that's what I did. After the summer break, GNCC has returned for the final four rounds of the 2021 season. And make no mistakes, all eyes on these two men, Stu Baylor and, of course, on screen there, Ben Kelly, as they are set to go to battle here in these last four rounds as Thad Duvall making his way down to the starting line on the rock star Husqvarna. See what Thad's got in store for these guys here today. See if he can get back to those ways of the podium, those winning ways, as the XC1 is off and rolling and jockeying for position. Oh, coming off the foot pegs is Ben Kelly. Oh, look for a minute like it was going to be string, but Ashburn sneaking in there, snagging the whole shot in the early lead. So string going to follow in second in a cloud of dust as riders try to sort it out. Good battles toward the back. Baylor's picking up a position right there. So Ashburn out front. Uh, how about that Benjamin Herrera in that number two spot? So that might have been the 543 I saw there. The 114 of Josh Strang in third. It is Baylor back in fourth. And, ooh, Ben Kelly back in the number seven spot. Of course, Ryder's still close together, but uh, things going to be difficult for Ben Kelly here early as he's going to have to work his way up through the pack. Back down to the starting line for the XC2 as they jockey for position, it's Mike Wachowski beside Craig DeLong. And Craig DeLong, the number one, your defending champ, going to edge him out for the lead and the whole shot. Liam Draper in the mix right there on the 198 KTM as DeLong on the throttle moving. We'll catch these guys in the wood and see how 
Woods and see how it's playing out for them. Uh, great start uh, for DeLong. Got to say, uh, the defending champ, he's had his ups and downs this season. Coming into today, he's just got the one win under his belt uh, back in round seven. So you got to think, hey, DeLong and the Rockstar Husky team, they'd love nothing more than to bounce back after summer break with a win here today. We'll see what he can do in that XC2 class. As we head back down to the starting line for the FMF XC3, the 125s. Man, if you don't like the sound of the 125s singing, check your pulse. The 707 doing work right there on the KTM. That is a solid start, a whole shot for the 707 of Jason Liscom. Uh, getting snagging that one away from the 942 gas gas and Mike Pillar. So good start for Liskum. And we're back out front with the XC1 where the Magna One Motorsports ride of Jordan Ashburn leads the way. How about a Stu Baylor up into the number two spot and Herrera falling back into the number three position. Still a uh, solid, solid start for Benjamin Herrera. And there is the 739, the Intimidator, doing some work early. Up into the number four spot, that is Trevor Bollinger. And looks like we got uh, Josh Toth in six and your points leader Ben Kelly on the Red Bull Factory KTM still in seventh. Can Ashburn snag his first win of the year? We see another epic battle between Kelly and Baylor. Stay tuned. GNCC returns after this. Coverage of the 2020 Grand National Cross Country Series on MAV-TV is brought to you in part by Specialized Turbo E-Bikes. It's you, only faster. Rocky Mountain ATV MC, get ready. And by Yamaha, revs your heart. Well, GNCC is more than just the pros. In fact, the large majority of racing is done by amateur classes on a GNCC weekend. And earlier today, the Youth Bikes took the race course here in Beckley, West Virginia. A stacked class in the youth ranks. Among those, Cole Forbes jumped out to an early lead right here as he had a good little battle going with Caleb Lane. Forbes able to come out on top. He struggled a little bit early, but as the race wore on, Cole Forbes was able to find himself back out front. A familiar place for Cole Forbes this season, in fact, in the eight rounds that he's lined up at the GNCC, he has won all eight, including this one. So a big congratulations to Cole Forbes on win number eight. He stands alone with the points lead for the youth overall championship. And uh, what a race it was. Big congratulations to that young man. Remember that name, Cole Forbes. Got a feeling we're going to hear that one for years to come. We had a chance to catch up with him after the race. Crashed in the third corner. Then had to work my way. I seen Thor, so I got behind him and got around Thor. And then I think Kayla was in front of Nick, and then I tried to stay behind them, wadded it, and then came back, battled with Nick. Me and Nick, we got in it pretty good. I hit him sometimes, he got me sometimes, and it was a good race. Well, again, a good, big uh, congratulations to Cole Forbes on the win. T-Rex, Nick DeFeo, took the number two spot, and Caleb Lane, the 113, uh, made it a KTM sweep on the podium. Three KTMs up there, so congratulations to those top threes. We jump back out front with our leaders in the XC1. Jordan Ashburn still out front on the throttle as Stu Baylor has reeled him in now. And good battle out front and a bit of a gap between second place and third place. Is that still Benjamin Herrera? It is. Followed by Trevor Bollinger, Josh Strang, Josh Toth, Ben Kelly, Lane Michael, and there is Thad Duvall. Thad Duvall trying to find his bearings out there. Keep your eyes on Thad. I think he's going to turn it on here as we wind down into these last four rounds of the season. We're going to see that Thad Duvall of old. I have no doubt in my mind. And how about a new leader out front? It is Stu Baylor, who has worked his way around Jordan Ashburn now. So Ashburn remains uh, or falls back to the number two spot. As we have time to turn, pan the camera back, look through the woods, and hey, there's third and fourth place. And that looks like Josh Toth, followed by his teammate, Red Bull KTM ride, your points leader of Ben Kelly. Bollinger right there behind those guys. Boy, still tight racing between about seven or eight guys right there. Benjamin Herrera falls back quite a bit there. Thad Duvall now on the rear wheel of Herrera. We'll see how that one shapes up. Stu Baylor out front. 
Jordan Ashburn follows right behind him on that number three Magna One uh, Motorsports Husqvarna. Good ride out of both of these guys as Baylor pops it a screen here, getting the lines picked out from his team. Baylor by our camera guy, and there is Jordan Ashburn right there in that number two spot. Got to hand it to Ashburn. Uh, not, not in the lead, obviously, but hey, it's hanging in there with Baylor at least. That was a moment ago. Now Baylor look like he looks like he's putting a little bit of a gap on Ashburn right here. We'll see how that plays out for him. Nonetheless, these guys trying to check out from the rest of the pack here in the XC1. Let's see. That is Ben Kelly in the number three spot, it looks like. Didn't uh, don't think we missed Josh Toth right there. Let's see as we pan back around. That is Toth. So Josh Toth now into the number four spot or falls back to the number four spot, I should say as Ben Kelly now has his work cut out for him. A lot of open track in front of him. Should be able to hit his mark. Shouldn't have any issues yet with any kind of lap traffic. And there he is, Josh Toth, trying to stick with Josh Toth, rocking the uh, different number on the jersey than on the bike. 206 on the bike, 207 on the jersey. Get a shot of it here. How about that? So Josh Toth, confusing us. We got you, though. We got you. So Stu Baylor out in front, the 514 and Pro Yamaha. Woo! Getting a little wild right there. And he's having fun. And that's, I don't know what's scarier, a, uh, a Stu Baylor that's out there having fun or one that's angry. <laughs> they're both uh, they're both something to, uh, to be wary of, no doubt about that. So, well, look at this. Stu Baylor now putting a pretty big gap in between him and Ashburn. Maybe that's part of the reason he's having fun, too. He says, hey, I got about a 30-second gap right here. I'm feeling good right now. I'm riding my race. Meanwhile, Ashburn's like, what the heck have I got to do to catch up to the 514 Ampro Yamaha of that man right there, Stu Baylor, riding very well. These guys going to be coming into the pits here shortly. We'll get our eyes on it. And pits at a GNCC, if you've never watched before, um, key part of a three-hour GNCC on Sundays for the bikes. And here they come, the Ampro Yamaha of Stu Baylor right here. Get a good look at it. Going to get some fuel. Going to get some goggles. And how about that? Did you catch that? He said, hey, help out Ashburn. If that doesn't speak to what goes on in these guys' minds, the sportsmanship. But in addition to that, Baylor's probably doing math in his head. He knows, hey, I got to beat Ben Kelly, right? What's better than that? If I get first, if Ashburn gets second, Ben Kelly gets third, fourth, fifth, whatever it may be, Baylor knows that helps his championship. So, yeah, hey, help out that guy in second. Push him up there. Help him out. Meanwhile, speaking of your points leader, there he is, Ben Kelly in. Auntie giving him the information. And Kelly back out there to battle. Kelly not going to be denied. He's going to be up there fighting with these guys, no doubt about it. We'll see if he can make up some time here as Baylor right there on screen. Still got that good gap between him and Ashburn. Heard him in the pit say it was about a 30-second gap. Don't think it's quite at that 30-second mark now as Ashburn's starting to chip away at it a little bit. Oh, and this is bad news for Josh Strang. The Babbitt's Online Monster Energy Kawasaki ride into the pits. The goggles come off. The bike goes on the stand. The crew knows what's up. They're prepared. They're ready. Strang, patient. We'll see if we... They, I'm sure they're going to be able to get him back going. We'll, uh, we'll keep our eyes on that one. Oh, and how about this? Baylor's got to stop. Looks like we're doing... I don't know what's going on there, to be honest with you. Uh, changing the course a little bit, but uh, got a, several track officials down there helping them out, pointing them in the uh, direction the riders need to go. And here comes Ashburn now. Again, don't think that's quite the 30-second gap we saw earlier, but nonetheless, your top two riders have really put a gap between them and the rest of the pack right here. So Baylor out in front needs a win here today. If nothing else, he needs to finish in front of Ben Kelly if he wants to keep his championship hopes alive. Ashburn doing well in that number two spot. Baylor moving through. Looking crispy right there. Ashburn now getting into a little bit of lap traffic, something to keep in mind. If you've never watched a GNCC race before, if you've never been to one, these guys are out there with the amateur riders as well. And there's good news if you're Josh Strang. I think a situation like this, hey, go out there, ride the thing. See if you can make something happen. 
Well, in addition to our pros, we've also got the EMTB Racing. And this happened to be the eighth round of the EMTB Racing. Charlie Mullins, Kyle Smith, and Nick Mackey duking it out. Each of those pro riders with at least one win this season and have put on some great battles throughout the year. No doubt about that. Charlie Mullins, uh, the defending champion, coming into this one looking to seal the deal in the last round of racing. And uh, that is exactly what he did. Man set out and uh, snagged himself another championship. Of course, had some great battles in the amateur and youth ranks as well. Good shot of Talon Hawk right there. Rocking that mustache. Looking good out there in the EMTB. But, boy, as the sun began to set in the mountains of West Virginia, it was that man right there, the number one defending champ, Charlie Mullins, coming through, taking the checkered flag and taking yet another EMTB XC1 Pro Championship. So congratulations to Charlie on that. Matter of fact, he said, I'm not done. I'm coming back next year. I want some more. Maybe his last year in 2022, but we'll see. And speaking of we'll see, Stu Baylor out in front. Can he hang on for another win here in 2021? Coverage of the 2020 Grand National Cross Country Series on MAV TV is brought to you in part by Specialized Turbo E Bikes. It's you, only faster. Rocky Mountain ATV MC, get ready. And by Yamaha, revs your heart. Lone Star putting on a show last night for the GNCC fans on the Monster Energy concert stage. It was, uh, boy, in full effect last night. Again, stellar show by the band. You see the fans enjoying themselves. Nothing like a little live music on a Saturday night on a GNCC weekend. Nothing like it. So huge thanks and shout out to the fine fellows there with Lone Star. Back to the racing action. And Stu Baylor, the 514 and pro Yamaha rider, remains out front. And boy, since uh, taking that lead, Stu Baylor seizing the opportunity. He knows he's got to win. No, if nothing else, he knows he needs to finish in front of Ben Kelly and getting the win here today certainly gets the job done there. Jordan Ashburn, been stellar today as well. Pretty much locked into that number two spot and uh, that gap that we've seen all day long between second and third. Ben Kelly chipping away at it a little bit. Is he going to have enough time to make something happen here and maybe fight for that second place position not sure but we do know this Stu Baylor hey if he can keep it on two wheels down here to the wire this is his race to win and here he comes now and you can tell he knows it couple more turns he's going to dip into the woods he's going to come back out on the other side right here and we'll see him coming into the finish line and I can guarantee you Stu Baylor he's going to put on a show for the fans at the finish no doubt about it looks over his shoulder revving the throttle Pulling the throttle, looking over his back. He said, you boys and girls ready? Are you ready, Ricky Towery? He said, yeah, we're ready. There you go. Stu Baylor fashion right there. Doesn't get much better than that. Look at the rear fender. Everybody's happy about it, except for maybe the mechanic. But you know what? That's okay. Yeah, you know, I, I pushed really hard right there off the start to get to the front, and um, we were able to capitalize. I just had had a couple really good lines, just set up lines, and a lot of a lot of track a lot of the track changed a good bit, and it looked like it was a good line. You get on it, and you get turned around, and main trail for the most part ended up getting really fast. And uh, you know, for me, that was that was where I was finding my speed and making my passes was a lot of times on the main trail or just setting up some outside lines and um, just trying to find that flow and got in contention. For that lead and i was like all right you know we'll we'll, uh, we'll put down the hammer and jordan was right there and you know mid-race i was watching the pit boards trying to do my best uh manage it and i i uh the uh, prior to the race you know i talked about the hopefully bolton's not soft well he wasn't <laughs> so i'm out there and they left that section in all day and i had two really rough times through there just threw away 45 seconds at one section but um no that's uh that was an amazing section i love stuff like that Luckily, all the pit crew was out there. I mean, KTM, Gas Gas, Yamaha, everybody was throwing out lines, helping us through there and, and keeping it from getting clogged up. You know, Caleb Russell was down there and, uh, you know, the, the whole crew just making sure that we kept that section in. And, um, you know, that was old school GNCC. Oh, and Kelly takes Ashburn on the inside. 
How about that? So Ben Kelly, boy, took him the entire race to track down Jordan Ashburn. And with two turns left, gets the pass, an aggressive move, but nonetheless, hey, a good move. You're in a championship fight. He knows that. Ashburn knows that. Ben Kelly sticks it to him right there and takes the number two spot. Yeah, I came into that, that bike only. It was like two miles from the finish, and uh, I had, they said I was only 20 seconds down, and uh, I was charging, had a little tip over, and was cramping up, but uh, I just kept pushing through, and saw another pit board, minus 10, and next thing I know, like, quarter mile from the finish, I could see him, and took a different line, almost, almost passed him there in the woods, but we kind of, the lines came together, and neither of us wanted to give it up. We kind of bounced off each other, but uh, I stayed in it. Um, you know, my front wheel smacked the side of his bike, so my front brake rotor bent, and so I had no front brakes, and I was like, man, how am I gonna, how am I gonna run it in on him with no front brakes? But uh, I don't know, I somehow just rode those last few corners good and <laughs> squared him up coming, coming out of the woods into the field, and just in that slippery dust, I just, I don't know, squared him up, got that inside line, and was able to take second, so that's definitely a big win. For me to, to get second for those points, you know, I, I needed it. Um, Championship's close, keeping it interesting, but uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. This is first race back from summer, so getting the jitters out and uh, three more races, I'm ready to get after it. Well, again, big congratulations to Ben Kelly on a hard-fought second place. Wow, impressive to say the least. We had a chance to catch up with Jordan Ashburn after the race as well. I got the whole shot today, and uh, I was pretty happy. I had to get out front early, and you know, Stu was uh, Stu was uh, Stu was going fast, man. He was cooking, and I just tried to latch onto him, and just seemed like I just stayed back and kind of yo-yoed for a while, and never really got close enough to follow him, but just kind of rode by myself. And uh, yeah, going to that last lap, I think I had like a minute on Ben, and uh, in that last rock section, I, I fell coming up the hill, and I just gassed me completely. And he, I think he was like 20 seconds or so behind me at that point, and. Yeah, just, man, I was I was struggling after that and took the wind out of me. And we got together a couple times before the finish, and then he got the last one, and he got it. So congrats to him. But, uh, yeah, I'm happy with my day. We rode good, and uh, the bike's excellent. The whole team's been great. So, um, yeah, it's awesome. Well, I got to hand it to Jordan Ashburn there, being as cool, calm, and collected as he was after that one. Uh, wow. Well, we take a look at the Specialized Race Recap. Hey, Ashburn snagging the whole shot and the early lead in this one. Carried that lead into the woods with uh, Benjamin Herrera behind him in the number two spot. So fantastic start for Herrera. Uh, remained in that number two spot for a good little bit and um, solid ride for him. We'll see what he's got the rest of the season with these guys. Maybe he can hang out up front with them. As the race wore on, though, it was Ashburn and Stu Baylor making their way out front and really checking out from the rest of the pack. It was about a two-man show uh, for the majority of the day. But once uh, once Stu Baylor was able to take that lead away from Jordan Ashburn, the man would not be denied, never looking back, and was in full control from that point on. The Ampro Yamaha ride of Stu Baylor having fun out there, no doubt about it, on his way to what would be his sixth win of the season in epic Stu Paler fashion, gives that rear fender a tap and says, it's been real, <laughs> but it's time to go. Stu Baylor, by the way, he gonna sign that, guaranteed, and some lucky kid gonna take it home. And boy, how about the pass by Ben Kelly? That is a man right there who wants a championship, no doubt about it. An aggressive pass, yes, but a championship's on the line. He knows that. Ashburn knows that. Hey, big congratulations to Johnny Girard as well, taking the win in the XC2. That's going to do it for us here at GNCC. I'm Mikey Waynes. We'll see you at the races.